Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. This is Brad with Being Chill. Today we're going to have a quick video just talking about the latest leaks on the iPad Air 4. The latest A14 chip has been benchmarked on Geekbench and Twitter users have tweeted out the results as well as we can go on to Geekbench and see the results themselves. But before we get into that, I do want to ask you guys to please subscribe if you're not already. I upload new videos just like these every week, Monday through Friday. So if you like this content, I'd love it if you subscribed and checked out some of my other videos. Now let's get right into it. Now this was all kicked off when a Twitter user Ice Universe first spotted the Geekbench 5 results for the A14 chip. It was under a codename iPad 13.2 and the motherboard number was J308AP. Later then a Twitter user love to dream came out and stated that the J308AP was the motherboard codename for the iPad Air 4th generation with cellular and that the iPad Air 4th generation Wi-Fi motherboard code was going to be J307AP. So if we dive right into the results of the Geekbench benchmark, we're going to see that the iPad Air 4th generation's A14 chip has six cores clocked in at 2.99 gigahertz. We also see that the RAM is coming in at 3.66 gigabytes or four gigabytes we can safely assume. And lastly, we see the single core score of 1583 and the multi-core score of 4198. For comparison, we can see that the A13 Bionic chip scored a 1336 in single core performance, and in multi-core performance, it scored a 3569. For some more comparison, if we take a look at the 2020 iPad Pro running the A12Z chip, we will see that it had a single core performance of 1118 and a multi-core performance of 4564. It is worth noting however that the A12Z chip found inside the iPad Pro does have an additional GPU core compared to the A12X chip so any performance gains there can likely be attributed to that. Additionally Apple has stated that there's going to be about a 40% increase from the A12 chip to the A14 chip but what we're actually seeing according to these benchmarks is a 42.7% increase in performance and a 19.3% increase in performance if we just jump from the A13 Bionic chip to the A14 Bionic chip. Now in addition to this increased performance we're of course going to see increased efficiency because this is Apple's first 5 nanometer chip and that basically means that they've packed the transistors on this chip so tightly together that they will require less power and in turn be more efficient which is going to allow you to have a longer battery life on your device since your processor is going to be taking less power. It makes sense that we're only seeing 4 gigabytes of RAM on this device for a couple of reasons. First off, it's going to be cheaper to produce and second of all, they don't want to hurt sales of the iPad Pro which has 6 gigabytes of RAM now. There's only a select few people that really need that extra RAM to run certain software whether it's Procreate, CAD software, or certain kinds of editing software but they don't want to hurt the sales of that higher priced iPad Pro so that's why we're going to see this only have 4 gigabytes of RAM. And lastly, the same chip that's inside the iPhone 12 is the A14 chip inside the iPad Air 4th generation. So you're likely to see very similar performance on these two devices. Additionally, people have been speculating that the reason they pushed the release date back on the iPad Air 4 was so that the iPhone 12 could release before people could benchmark the A14 chip. However, since we're already seeing benchmarks now and the performance is actually higher than what Apple estimated on their September 15th Time Flies event, it's weird to see them still push it back even though the performance is higher than what they were quoting originally. Now, this is also interesting to see because it could mean that these benchmarks are not legitimate and that they were faked by somebody just trying to get retweets or something. So don't take everything that was leaked for gospel. It might be true, it might not. But the performance numbers are in line of what we traditionally see. So there's a good chance that this could be accurate. If you guys are curious about when the iPhone 12 or the iPad Air 4 is going to come out, check out my video up here. I'll put the link up there where you can see what the most likely release date of these products is going to be. And if you like this content, make sure you click that like button. And once again, I upload new videos every week, Monday through Friday. So make sure you subscribe and click that bell so you can stay up to date on all the latest tech news. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.